good morning good afternoon good evening as you could tell from the clip before we have some chickens and we have some pallets the little uh the coop that we got back there it's back there up under the tarp it's uh three to four chickens of course we've already got three back there now so we need something a little bigger played with uh play with some ideas the best thing we're gonna do uh cheapest thing is uh pallets i got some free pallets from my brother he works at a, a little factory where they just throw them in the trash i mean pallets look like this they just get rid of them so save them some money save me some money let's put this thing together this is no way shape or form a how-to video this is how scott is going to build this chicken coop so there's no plans there's nothing wrote down we got some pallets we're gonna put them together we'll see how it goes see my random bucket of screws that's pretty much what we're gonna use on this thing unless we absolutely need some different ones we're gonna try to use that as much as possible but as you can see I've got my floor down I got my two walls up and then I got a little a little brace back here just to hold it up nice and steady uh, overall structure is there now we just got to kind of play with what we're going to do on the walls. I know after it's all said and done, of course, the bottom will have plywood on it. Uh, probably both sides of the walls, inside and outside, will have plywood on it uh, just to kind of you know protect them from the elements get them out of the way they're basically going to have a big old mansion here but i mean hey build it one time and maybe we won't have to uh build another big one but all right uh pretty much got the structure down the rest of the pallets like this guy i'm going to take apart to use for these long pieces of wood here got one of them broken but i at least got one two and then if i flip it over i've got one at the bottom there and then one at the bottom here but yeah let's uh let's just start taking pallets apart and see what we can get to
All right, day two. Beautiful, beautiful day outside. As you can see, we're a little bit further along. I've, uh, I went and got some more pallets. The same that's on the bottom here is the same exact size that's on the back. That kind of worked out good. I've just kind of got it, I kind of got it screwed in just so it'll hold itself for right now. I've got a little bit bigger one on the top here. You see the overhang on all that side. Don't mind her pajamas or anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> same thing overhang on the back but uh but yeah we l l let's get this thing going now that we started going with it and i forgot all about recording so let's see what we can do here i'm gonna need to push this up just a hair I know y'all are asking, you should probably put tape measure on it, blah, blah, blah. No, no, not at all. I'm gonna rig this whole thing up just to make it all nice and pretty and no measurement required. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to over here? Yeah, now that the camera gets put on, you be quiet, huh? All right. Let's keep it going. Let's see what else we got. We just got them out here in the yard. It's a beautiful day. Get some sunshine. Just in the track. Chicken tractor. Blah, 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 words. We up getting the bugs and the grass. All right, uh, kind of end of day two. I took all of the the little center support out and on that back side too before I put that, uh, you know, that back wall in. I've got this kind of on here for the most part. I mean, I just got one screw up top here, but, uh, but yeah, I think this is the overall shape of it i've um i'm still debating i mean i know you know the pallet is good structure but i want to do you know this like shiplap kind of siding you know what i mean and same thing for the back i've already started a little bit of that um kind of trying to debate right here whether i should just keep these guys the same length all the way down and then just put just some kind of piece of wood right here to block this off or if i need to you know take these guys off and just cut some more longer ones and bring them all the way out i don't quite know what i want to do yet probably whatever's the cheapest and whatever's most convenient for me i've got all of these pieces of wood here which are going to go on that back slat there you know what i'm saying kind of you know make it pretty i really don't mind about little little gaps we'll um i've got some other ways of of sealing this thing off in the winter time but but yeah we're pretty much stopped and stuck for the for the day we're at a good stopping point we've got some pretty big pallets we're gonna have to start uh you know start taking all the wood off of these finish up the siding finish up the the shiplap there and then uh 
once we get the outside done then we'll start playing on the inside and figuring up some kind of door I still don't really know what I want to do with the door yet um, these are what we're going to use for the nesting boxes so well I mean this one's kind of pooped I've got another one over there I'm probably going to use but if you can imagine one and two right here except number two would be lifted up a little bit and then the other ones beside it one and two on top these first two pieces of board will come out and we'll all right we'll act like that didn't happen thank you gopro i don't know what part you call it but these first two will be coming out we'll leave this one just on this side the rest of them will all you know stay intact all the way through but these two these two same thing up top two and two and that'll be four nesting boxes we'll have some more room on this side to add two more if we need to we'll add a roosting bar a couple roosting bars all the way across and you know have them somewhere to hang out but yeah end of day two progress is is coming right along uh, i like it i like the way that this is turning out and i haven't spent a dollar i've gone and gotten these pallets like i said for my brother and haven't spent a dollar except for gas so i would say we're doing good so far